For centuries now the planet Cetaxis and the Nark have been engaged in a senseless and brutal storm. Cetaxis has been nearly destroyed by the Narkin attacks, while the Nark has suffered equal devastation. Both civilizations will be extinct within one more generation, unless these negotiations bring peace. Thanks for the happy news, Nelkar. With the envoys of both planets, shake hands and resolve to see the process through. I don't think this is how a peace process is supposed to begin. Hi, answer. This is Predaking. This is Cyclovis. What news, Predaking? I am diverting to investigate a signal in Sitter 9. What is signal? Unknown. It is an old Quittison frequency. I heard you and you added source. Be on alert. The Autobots may also have received the signal. There is a probability of combat. Pleased to hear that, Cyclonus. Very pleased. Tedekin out. Julia, a modified Waverly signal on the old Quittison frequency. Skylinks, perceptor calling. Receiving your perceptor. We're intercepting a signal source that coordinates A5 by V10. Where in prime is that? <laughs> I've always suspected your astrographic circuits were deficient. It's in the organic sector. Mushy circuits, eh? No wonder when I get back to Cybertron. Skylinks, this may be serious. That signal is an old Quittison frequency. I've not done to the signal. We'll trace it for you. The surface scan fails to reveal a query anywhere. I can't land. I'll have to jog you. Well, it's better I'm getting bounced in the nuts and bolts. Do the best you can. I'll track above you. Looks like we've got some cruising to do. I must make more speed. <laughs> I had to get my arms free. Just to bear. Got it. My arms still dry. Hurry, my arms. Oh, no. Just return in the cyber. I could really learn to hate Coracell in this place. Stop talking and keep walking. Signal's coming from that away. Signal is stronger. We are very close now. If we are lucky, we'll find gold or box there. <laughs> That's the source. We name it and claim it. I'd love to, but I have no idea what it is. Still with you, and it ain't been easy. Look out! You check where he cuts that canister! We'll get the canister. That is, Ryan Paul. It's just a projection. Almost a triggered it by accident. Ears open. Something's being spoken. Juno 1122 playback. Containing items 379 NW through 793 BQ of the Quintesson Journal. 
a complete record of our commercial enterprises, technical plans, and special purpose. Sky Leaks, get us out of there! On my way! Leave AA on those on the Autobot Scarrowings. One zero jetty positive enough breaking. This time you die. <laughs> Scarlet, enough fun and games, get us out of here! You still me a part of practice, better king! Everyone is better up! The signal has stopped. Predator must have found the source. Negative, Psychonus. Decepticons! I should have known that was all too easy. Oh dear, in the heavens did that. Your gate cut off. Oh, I They vanished. But where? Ah, so that explains it. The Queen's sons came for their little child. Hmm. That energy field just drained me. Hmm. Oh, yo, you'll find your accommodations comfortable. Hmm. What are you going to do with toilings? Transformed at the moment. He was simply for me, Nina. We thank you for retrieving this segment of our cello. <sighs> Bars of Gaboon Hot Swat. The net case will have to open them up. Excuse me. You look like you could use a little energy on. Where these bars present a little problem, don't you think? Now, damn me! Be glad to. What if that is geese as I thought it was? Ask me when we're back on Cybertron. Make sure Skylinks is ready to launch. I'll be right there. Can you fly, Skylinks? I imagine so. But I seem unable to transform while in the range of the disruptors. Come on, Outback! Let's get out of here! Setting course for Cybertron, gentlemen. Decepticons. No mercy and no mistakes! <laughs> Time to stand and fight, fellows! No, time to destruct. Broken crew, but enough. Prepare to the part. Not until Skynaut dies. I say who dies and when! The iron trail from the Quintesson ship is very strong. They are close by. But you said no mercy, Galvatron. Very true, so I will show none. Decepticons, away from here! Lies, lies and boltorts! From your man, only detection! Yeah! Yeah! No more talk, let our rat should speak for us now! And then act shall respond in pine detection! Uh, this might be a good time for a break. Yeah, good and hurt, seeing as how everybody's already left anyway. This is Argar of Zetaxis. We wish to take delivery. 
When does Ultimate Weapon arrive? Our vehicle has encountered turbulence in space. Shipment of your Ultimate Weapon was delayed, but is now en route to you. Good. Finally, the means to clash the Texas forever. At last, the defeat of the Lalarkan dogs draws nigh. This planet appears on no charts. We can examine this device undisturbed. Activate it. I don't know how the Autobots made it pay. It is useless unless we get playback. <laughs> Item 457, Planet Titsa. This is it. The secrets of the Quintessons are ours. A large fleet of Quintesson transport vessels were sold to Titsara. The primitive nuclear fuel requirements drained the planet's mineral resources, bringing the Titsaran economy under Quintesson control. This is useless! We supplied manufacturing facilities to the planet Alaxo. Ten facilities were designed to create atmospheric pollutant imbalance. The resulting isotopic rains destroyed all vegetation, which we replaced with handle bots at a substantial profit. Item 793 BQ. Manipulation of the continuing war between Zetoxis and Lanark. Are those not the two planets? Between only Galactic Peace Council is attempting to negotiate a far. A case study has been made of this conflict. I'll bet they'd love to have that channel at the peace conference. Then let's get it alone and pray in our home. Alright, one more signal. Escalating sales of armaments to both sides has resulted in continuation. Autobots, they dare to attack us. Doom to the entrainers! Look out! The Think out and channel at 10! We cannot permit that device to be redeployed! Give up, weekly Dato Box! The Quintesson channel is ours! Yes, I can, you got my turn! This has to stop! Enough! Enough! Don't you know any Jetler games? Some peace conference. Peace? We'll be lucky if it doesn't break out in galactic war. This reminds me of your wrestling shows on Earth. At least those are faked, Rodimus. We need our ultimate weapon now. Lamarck must be obliterated. This is the last straw. When our ultimate weapon arrives, we will destroy the captain. We must have the weapon by the next Lord Orbit. We understand your situation. Yes, the device is on board. Delivery is confirmed your destination. Transport out. We've had enough delayed already. We are ready to proceed. We know it is urgent. The device is on board and we are on schedule. Delivery is confirmed your destination. Transport out. I've never seen two planets more eager to blow each other to dust. Why, hell, what the matter? So long as we reap the profits. Decepticons. Perhaps we should just use one of the two Omega Bonds we're carrying. Wasteful. One of those things can vaporize a planet. Yes. 
to say nothing of vaporizing half our profits. Better to erode them with another war brigade. So, which of our clients will take delivery first? Simultaneous delivery. Both planets must survive long enough for us to get held. Internal pressure dropping rapidly. Seal the breach! Alert the shuttles! I have it! Head for the peace conference, Skylanes! Give it all you got! Come on, come back to the table. What'll it cost you? But conference is over. And a war will be over, so did I. Connect! And you, I'd Nick Tejuanti! Just a moment. Charlotte, had it. <sighs> <laughs> the Decepticons give us less trouble than this. This case conference is hereby reconvened. Never! Death to Lalaw! Not if the Texas dies first! Stop it! You destroy yourself! This a peace concert or slam dance party? Observe. In the third stage, medium-powered hand weapons were sold to both the Taxis and the Nak. Higher profit margins were not achieved until the sale of interplanetary weapons. Unbelievable. Profit margins? From blowing up our cities? Fleet sales of warships increased profits by a factor of five. Newer weapons sold to the Toxis generated equalizing sales to the Lark and vice versa. Quintus on profits from the Lark's Toxis war have increased steadily for centuries. A textbook case. We have endured these horrors so that Quintus Five could profit. Congratulations. It's taken you only a few thousand years to comprehend your folly. And we shall reward your perceptiveness by providing you your ultimate weapons as promised. Already armed and set to explode, I hear you thanks. Are you ready to take the Ark? A Quintesson cruiser! The bombs must be aboard. Move. Go! Go! Madness. It's working! One last burst! And that's how the Credisons trade their clients. I don't like you or your people, Zetatsin. We don't like you either, but we like a pointless war even less. Then you live on your world and we live on ours. Agreed? Well, I guess they'll never be the best of friends, but at least the shooting's over. We better lock this thing up on Cybertron. It's sad, really. All those centuries of war. And the only winners were the Quintessons. <laughs> <laughs>